So I'm using this green, you might have a blue one or a different ball all together, smaller ball about the size of a tennis ball. And we're gonna take that ball right along the clavicle, right underneath that collarbone and sink into it. We're gonna sink our bodies so the ball goes up. Okay, so we're gonna start on the left side. I'm gonna bring my block to the wall and bring that ball right along my collarbone. Now I'm also turning my body a little bit to the right. If I just stay straight on, I won't be following the curves. So I'm gonna turn my body a little bit to the right and then that's gonna just follow the curves along the collarbone. I'm literally tracing the bottom of my collarbone. I'm gonna peel away from the wall to show you very specifically right along the bottom of that bone. Now, when you get out just a couple inches from the sternum, from the center, you'll start to notice it's tender there. I, I, I can't say I've never met anyone that it wasn't tender on, but it's rare. <laughs> so most of you are gonna have a little tenderness right there. <clears throat> I'd like you to start honing in on that. You might feel more tension in your chest as you hold it there. You might feel some ghosty stuff kind of radiating down the arms into the fingers. <sighs> Soften your knees. <clears throat> Notice that when I bend my knees a little, the ball presses up and really traps that. You can find a little tender spot there and then do a little tiny micro twisting in your body to find the, the sort of pinnacle of tension in this area. There's mine. And then you can play with some movement as you hold steady on that point. Not too big with the movement, little shoulder circles. Remember this muscle subclavius stabilizes the collarbone, which in effect stabilizes the entire shoulder girdle. If you've ever broken your collarbone, like I did on this left side, it might always be a little tender and you just go and release it and then you stop having numbness and tingling down your arms. Uh, one more breath here. Great. And we're just gonna cruise along that collarbone and the bottom. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go right to the other side, right side. Oh, you can always pause and take a break and move a little bit. I'm going to go right to the other side now, right underneath that collarbone subclavius. And really let, moving slowly, let your jaw relax, let your tongue relax in your mouth so it's not pressed up at the roof of the mouth. And then... Uh, getting toward, you know, like an inch or two out from the center of the body. <clears throat> oh, I can feel, you can feel that right where it just gets really kind of sticky and tender. Sinking in, softening the knees. <sighs> Breathing in the belly, relaxing the jaw. Maybe a little movement. <clears throat> okay. Oh, so good. One more deep breath. My neck adjusted with that deep breath. That was cool. It was like clunk clunk. My neck adjusted with that deep breath because <clears throat> we're releasing all the stuff that's pulling on those neck tissues doing some nice circles. We're gonna take that left hand now up along the wall, pressing that palm into the wall and turning your body away from the wall. Just feeling a nice opening through the whole chest. And then we're gonna go to the other side, right hand to the wall, press the palm in, elbow scoops toward the wall and turning your body to the left away, and breathing up into the chest. Ah, <sighs> all right.